Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can run PLC SCADA communication without having PLC hardware. Uh, first of all, we must have installed RS Links Classic Gateway. Uh, mind one thing that there should not be RS Links Classic Lite, it should be Gateway. And uh, RS Logics and RS Logics Emulate. Uh, what we have to do is simply RS Logics uh, Emulate should be open and minimize it. And uh, Open RS Links Classic Gateway, go to Communication, Configure Driver, and uh, click on this. Uh, uh, when in case of hardware, if we are having hardware, we used to select RS232 DF1 devices. But here we have emulator, so we will use SLC500 emulator driver. Add new, OK, then close. Now, uh, the next topic is DD OPC. But uh, before that, in here, uh, open RS Logics. File, new, select your PLC and here I have already make a program uh, one. so I will not waste your time okay this is the simple start stop logic with the help of binary and if you have seen my previous video there I have used the same program binary we use because uh, for switching in uh, through SCADA we have to implement the address of binary input output address only display in SCADA but the binary can also control so we use binary for start uh, of the output and for the stop we use the other binary address okay now download this program and go to now come to rs links classic gateway dd opc topic configuration and give a new topic name plc ABC and click on this now uh, in my previous video if you have seen that uh, I did this DD OPC configuration first then open RS logics here I am doing it uh, after running my program here because if you are using RS logics emulator first time then this will not show uh, that uh, when you will click on this emulator this will not show the PLC here okay because there is no hardware connected but if you will open RS logic select your hardware and run the program it will automatically start showing here Micrologix 1000 click on this and done now minimize RS links classic my RS logics program is already in run mode click on in touch here I have already make a pro uh, where I have used two switches input output uh, start stop switches and a output lamp still I will show you uh, the Type I have given to the tag name is input output type and the access name I will show you the we have to put uh, application name RS links topic name there I have given PLC ABC okay so here I will change the topic name because I have updated this PLC ABC topic so I will change this topic PLC ABC okay and the address for the start switches B3 column 0 oblique 0 and for the other stop button the address is B3 column 0 oblique 1 And for the lamp, the output address is O colon 0.0 oblique 0. 
now run this probe here see that will also switch on here here and if i will stop button it will switch off this output now here i have already also used the timer okay the address of timer is t4 colon 0 so in scada what we can do is we can see the value of the accumulator uh, for that we will use a hash okay in this i will go to value display analog or user input analog the basic difference between two you might be known uh, here uh, we can uh, change the value at runtime but here we can only display okay so i will use here user input analog G i will give then a tag name analog type memory real sorry input output real of course it is an input output device now x is name a b c d e and this uh, item name will be t4 column 0 dot acc this is the value of the accumulator t4 column 0 uh, dot c acc will show the value of the accumulator at the runtime change the value in that will also be changed here you can see so by this we can use plc scada communication uh, without having plc